Welcome back to Sidemen Reacts. Now, strange things that you'll only see in China brought us a great moment, to be fair, though. You mean Japan? To be fair, though, what are we going to find out when we uh, <laughs> see some moments that we'll only Did see? Did you mean Japan? Yeah, f yeah, it was a, such a sick <laughs> intro when you bottled it. You said Japan. You said China. I bottled it. You said, you said, ah, ah. <laughs> you, it, the video you wanted to reference was when you watch the 29 things only exist in Japan. Yeah. But yeah. now we're doing China. Well, it's, it, it, it's, it's manifesting more confusion. <laughs> <laughs> what a shambles of a- Vic started trying to wake up. <laughs> Colorized. 2021. It's manifesting more confusion. No one knows what's going on. Let's get to the video, my friend. What do you think? What, any predictions, boys? What do you think? What's the something you're finding? I think you're only seeing China. I hope they have the fish market that I went to in my vlog. They have like a market where they just have hundreds of like thousands of fish in bags that they just, you just go in and buy a fish in a bag. It's weird. Okay. They used to have, to have fun fairs though in the UK where you'd like win one of those prizes and you get a goldfish in a bag, then they, I think they realise this animal cruelty. We're not talking goldfish here. We're, I'll, I'll throw a clip in the video if it's not in this video. We're talking every kind of fish you can think of, like massive fish, just in little bags. It's weird. A sperm whale. And, and supposedly they're sold as pets, but I don't think everyone was buying them on a daily basis for pets, so I don't know what's going on. Let's find rip, out what we can see in China fine. only. Oh, I was, was going to say Chinese people. Who replaced police dogs? Huh? Who can sit in a traffic jam instead of you? In this video, we'll tell you about really weird things about the most populous country in the world. Okay. So here we go. Geese replaced police dogs. I'll tell you what though, you don't want a geese coming for you. Exactly. They got, they got, they got police geese. <laughs> no, you'd be pissed. They'll break your arm. In some parts of the country, geese are used as an aid in law That's enforcement. Sick. According to a Chinese police chief, what? geese are very vigilant and brave. Yeah. They also have on. perfect oh, vision, fair. and they spread their wings and attack when they see a criminal. They, they do. Well, that's oh. definitely an element of surprise. How do you train a Hopefully, goose? geese won't be more effective than human police officers, <laughs> as, as, well, we don't want the unemployment rate to increase. But wait, what's the problem with dogs? Hmm? Pigeons are used to send messages. I thought they were tell us. They just said... <laughs> they just, oh, they question us. What are from the dogs? Fly, They're too friendly. Mate. Dog's too friendly. You're a police dog, a tree. He's gassed. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, wait, an Alsatian coming for you with, uh, with bad intentions? No, thank you. The Chinese certainly believe in birds. A special unit of the People's oh, Liberation Army is training 10,000 birds to deliver critical messages in emergency situations. That's actually kind of smart. Is that smart? So, if you find yourself in China with a dead mobile phone battery, you know what can help you send a short text to your friends. Canned air. The smog levels in China are extremely high, so manufacturers seriously sell cans of fresh air in several different flavors. So, while someone is making money How out of thin air... Ar, ar, well, what's happening on the voiceover? Cr crack it and just go... Yeah, what, what's happening air? on the voiceover? We it like five seconds? So, while someone is making money out of thin air... Ar, ar, <laughs> what just happened? He's just doing just... his thing, bro. He's just doing his thing. What just happened? He's just doing his thing. Arr, arr. Arr, arr. Arr, arr. Let's grab a six pack of oxygen <laughs> and have on. a party. Time zones. Oh, they have loads of them, right? Six or seven, probably, right? When the Communist Party started ruling China, they made the entire country live in a single time zone. Oh. oh. The members <laughs> of the party <laughs> thought it would help unite the nation. That makes sense, though. That's the problem is yeah. that in some parts of the country, the sun doesn't rise until 10 a.m. Oh, Imagine how actually. difficult it must be for them to get up in the morning. The Chinese even have their own time to keep up with the day and night cycle. Oh. Ghost cities. China's housing market is so fast-paced that there are entire ghost cities across the country. I went to a ghost hotel. They have everything. Roads, malls, apartment buildings, but no people. Seven hide and seek, what are you saying? Yeah, that would actually be sick. Only recently, people have started moving from rural areas into such cities. So what, so so they built them and everyone left? Or they built them and no one's moved in yet? Or, or they, by, the, by the time they finished them, yeah, they're not needed everyone's anymore. moved somewhere else, yeah. I went to uh, like this island off China where they had, like, we were the only people, like there were like 50 people in a hotel built for a thousand people. Like we went to a restaurant and it's a whole staff restaurant and we're the only people in the restaurant. It's so weird. Nice. So that was like weird. us in Russia to be fair. We went to that weird Congress hotel. Yeah. And we, yeah, we, we, sat, yeah. we, sat, we sat at the restaurant and it was just us and there was no one else. Nail houses. What? Some residents refuse to give up their place, and no one can make them do it. So, construction workers are forced to leave their territory untouched. You can literally live in the only apartment in your building. Traffic jam stand-ins. 
Have you ever dreamt of being paid for sitting in traffic? There is a fantastic job opportunity for you in China. If you are late for work because of a traffic jam, you can always call a special service that will send two people. One of them will take care of your car. The other one will drive you wherever you need to be on a motorbike. <laughs> That's oh, right, that. That's sick. The entire rescue operation costs 400 yuan, about 60 bucks. Might be worth it, to be fair. That's sick, yeah. Yeah, that is actually that is smart. <laughs> You're about you to get a yellow, yellow card. card. Yeah, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, shit. That's what I'm going to late for a Simon <laughs> trick. Quick, quick, special service. Come on. <laughs> the Chinese can nap anywhere. They can have a noontime nap in any place on trees, on the furniture like they sell, on a motorcycle, parked of course, it is considered normal. That living good. Your productivity increases if you are well rested. That's what I'm saying. Can I have a nap in a side memory accent? <laughs> face keenies. Face keenies. Exactly like bikinis, but for the face. Surprisingly, people in China don't like suntans. <laughs> So, to preserve their natural pale complexion. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little oh, just like this. Yeah. How you just go? <laughs> I, don't, I like. Is it, what? Makes sense though. Does it? Yeah, because they're protecting their skin. Wearing pajamas in public. Even if you're a grown up man, it's okay for you to go outside your house wearing pajamas with cute little kittens. I've gone out in pajamas, that's fine. People even go shopping for food in this kind of outfit. That's normal in London these days. It's easy. Cockroach farming. If you're trying to eliminate cockroaches from your house, maybe you should take a moment to reconsider. The insects are specially bred and used in Chinese medicine. It's a booming business, proved to be a good investment you can pull a lot of money from nowadays. Cockroaches are believed to treat everything from heart diseases to dental problems. These dodgy Chinese medicines are I don't know about that, yeah. yeah. Cockroaches are, are believed to treat heart diseases. What does a cockroach do? What do you do? What, what, did, you, did you look at an operation on you or some shit? Or is he, like, what does a cockroach do to you? <laughs> They're even used as an ingredient in toothpaste. The fuck? Mm. Right, come, nah, so you, if you are going to China anytime soon, don't forget to pick up your own tube of toothpaste. Really? Toothpaste. Women rent boyfriends. Jeez. The clock is ticking. Will you ever get married? That's what <laughs> curious relatives often say. Now in China, there is a way to get rid of these annoying questions. You rent a boyfriend. Kind of boyfriend. He can just take a few pictures with you or even go to a family dinner and pretend to be in <laughs> love with you. <laughs> do you know any other weird things about China that we missed? I do. I do. Go on, know. Let's hear it. Let's uh, hear it. You know what? You know, not not hear it, bro. I'm loading it up. Here we go. Ooh, okay. All right. We've got a little extension. He showed us the fish. <laughs> it's a very, very interesting area. I still don't know what's ahead. Okay. This is a mask fish. Goldfish market. I'm like, what's going on? Like these guys look like little lobsters, but they're just. They're just still. What is going on here? <laughs> That's kind of. You should have oh bought a fish. What size of that one? What size of them? in the bags. Like, what is going on? It's a bit peak, but I mean, the game's the game in China. I've never seen turtles before. Look at this guy down here. He's just like, meh. Little turtles. I used to have turtles like that. Not like kept like that, but I used to have turtles. <laughs> I'm going to assume this is a pet store and there's nothing weird going on. Yeah, I mean, they've got little enclosures for them. I mean, feels bad for these fish right now. Feels bad. Well, feel, feels bad for them right now. Well, it's not going to get any better for them, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna go to a nice home. I thought you ate them. Uh, apparently they're for pets, but... Oh, it looks like they're I, for pets, yeah. But there's a lot of them and they're there every day, so I suspect some of them aren't kept as pets. Oh, oh they're saying, yeah, they're, they're pets. Yeah, they're, they're for pets, inverted commas. Every shop on this street... We should have wrapped this bit, this is way better. <laughs> <laughs> ...is an aquarium fish in the bags. Store. It's just like. <laughs> it's so bad. It's weird. It's very bizarre. Fish in the bag store. Proper tropical fish here. The little one. Thanks for the video, Thanks. There's so many of them. Nice lad. Well done. Oh, you got some cinematics. So randomly dotted in between these fish shops. There's also like random like restaurants. It's a random restaurant that sells fish. Can you believe it? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, people walk around with bags of fish. Sure. Why not? In case you should have one. Lonely or something. Rabbit Why not shot. just get some rabbits to live alongside? <laughs> oh my god, it's so fluffy! Okay, this is kind of great. <laughs> Hello, rabbits. Can we love on that one, please. Oh my god, it's so fluffy! Okay, this is kind of great. <laughs> Hello, rabbits. Oh my god, it's so fluffy! Yeah, the cinematic, more come cinematic. on, come on. Yeah, you know. Bit of colour grading. Anyway, Ooh. that's there, there's I, more strange stuff. I was enjoying stuff. that. I was enjoying that, mate. <laughs> you want some more? Here you go. 
Yes. Okay, I told you guys I would show you the view at night. I see the view. I see the view. I see the view. The perfect time. Here we go. This oh, is, that is oh, oh, Cinemax again. <laughs> and everything is going insane. It's actually so cool. Yeah, it's popping up across the water towards us. It'll be a glitch effect. Oh, your camera's broken, lad. So just like an average Vic mate, video. Mate, a Vic vlog goes off, you know. Jeez, yeah, mate. Vic vlogs go off. Right. Tune in, tune tune in. Hashtag Poor guy can't go anywhere to vlog anymore, though. <laughs> Soon, they'll be He's back. He's can do his vlog, vlog to the shops now. <laughs> English shops are interesting. They ain't got a fish in bags. Mate, it's this face of confusion that I love the most. Like, this, this fish is just in bags. <laughs> Bro, I was so baffled. So if I just say here buying fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's leave, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. There you go. There's an extra strange thing in China. There's plenty more in the vlog. Check it out. <laughs> Peace out, guys. He's trying to boost his residual, baby. <laughs>